Hi guys, Matt Thomas here at Cedar Rock Studio Guitar Gallery in Indiana. And today, I've got a froggy on my lap. This is a froggy bottom. This is a 2018 A12 Deluxe. Now, if you look at it, it kind of reminds you a little bit of a double O, but just a little oversized. It's actually 15 inches across here. And it features a master grade Engelman top that is super sensitive. And that bridge is directly in the center of that belly. Over top of, look at this quad A tiger maple. That is really interesting looking. It's very similar to, to flame maple, but uh, it's a lot lighter in color. Um, now, they went ahead and put a abalone center strip separating it down here. And it's got this lovely curly koa all the way around for the trim. Um, and one thing that I thought was really cool was where they met the neck here, they gave a foundation of that curly koa all the way around. So it just kind of frames where the neck meets the body here. Um, and it is a mahogany neck that's been slightly stained. Um, so as I said, um, this is the A12. So it's, a, it's actually a 12 fret guitar, but it is short scale. It's actually only 25 inches um, so it's, it's right here in the pocket zone. And it sounds big and open. One of my favorite things about 12 fretters, they just inherently sound, sound more open. Now, um, another thing that I thought was really cool was it is a slotted headstock, which I much prefer for performing. You don't have to twist your arm around to get to the tuners. But the volute here, um, just feels so cool. It's quite unique with this slotted headstock. A lot of times you see people choose to do diamond backs, but this is just perfect. It feels so good in the hand and nice and petite. It's a one and three fourths here at the nut width, and it's actually wider down here. It's very reminiscent of how Bourgeois does it, and it's two and five sixteenths. So yes, the neck does get wider as you go up to account for that. Um, now it does have a a ebony bridge and a gabin ebony fretboard uh, into what looks like, I'm almost going to say, I think that's a Madagascan head cap here with that really elaborate froggy logo. That just looks so cool. I'll make sure to blow up a good photo for you guys. Now, there is some unique uh, inlay scheme going on here. They almost look like maple leaves, but not... Um, I'll just have to blow up some photos for you. It just looks really good together. Now, as I said, it is a shorter scale guitar, so um, lower tunings might get a little rattly, but I don't know that you'd really want to do that with this guitar. This thing sounds so good up to pitch. Um, I think this would be a phenomenal singer-songwriter guitar. So if you got any further questions about this lovely A12 Deluxe, uh, message Alan at cedarrockstudio.com and thanks for listening.